Hey everybody and welcome to uh, a fly through of the east zone of the Westgate Tunnel Project. Uh, my name is Carl Broderick and I'm an engineering manager working for Transurban as part of the Westgate Tunnel Project. Uh, as you know, the Westgate Tunnel Project is made up of three parts. There's the Westgate Tunnel, uh, there's the Westgate Freeway Widening and of course the Port and City Access, which I think is probably one of the lesser known but more interesting parts of the, of the project. Uh, what we what we cover is we cover the connection from the tunnels all the way through to CityLink and uh, all right the way through into, into the city. And it's all mostly bridges, so it's quite, quite an interesting, exciting part of the project that's really coming out of the ground right now. Uh, what, you'll, what you'll be able to see is some of the substructure works that we've, we've got going on. And uh, I really hope that you enjoy it as much as, as, I, as I do building it. Um, what I'd also like to mention is that obviously I'm, I'm stuck at home in my study, as we all are at home during COVID. Uh, I've put my PPE on to give you sort of more of an authentic um, idea of what it might be like. I can't take you out on site, unfortunately, due to the uh, COVID restrictions that we've got in place. They've really thrown a bit of a, a spanner in the works. Um, but maybe, maybe think of this as a bit of a, a bit of a helicopter tour, a bit of a tour through, through the East Zone. Um, and, uh, and you really enjoy it. So grab your grab your coffee. I've got mine right here, and uh, and yeah, strap in and uh, get ready. And we'll take you through on a uh, amazing journey through the uh, through the east zone of the Westgate Tunnel project. All right, here we go. All right, here we are. We start off over the Maribyrnong River, and we can see the Westgate Bridge in the background. And what we want to look for first is the tunnel portals. That are coming out of the ground that signifies the start of the east zone project or the or the port and city access here you can see the containers the red and yellow containers just to the right of that you can see those two blue pillars and those signify the tunnel so as we come out of that uh, portal structure that signifies the start so it's saying so as we spin around here you can you can see some of the the barges that are being used to build build the bridges and there's three bridges that come out uh, of the tunnel structure and these ones are really exciting they're enormous steel structures here we go we've got the the substructure works that are being undertaken this is on the west bank of the Maribyrnong river you can see some of the concrete piers uh, really starting to take shape and in the foreground some of the substructure works below ground where we're putting in piles and creating pile caps uh, there's another one that's just come through that's uh, showing a finished pier with a capital on top um, in, the, in the distance there, you can see Shepherd's Bridge. And there's a couple of really interesting bits of uh, temporary works. These, these green beams that are holding up the formwork uh, for the concrete when the, uh, the tie beams are cast. You can see the, the piers all sticking out of the river that have been driven into the ground and then filled up with concrete. And then this, this temporary uh, steel uh, work will support the, the concrete during, um, during installation. And it's 75% complete. So the main thing that's interesting about the Maribyrnong River Bridge is that it's made up of 10,000 tons of steel. And it makes up about a third of all of the uh, steel work in the East Zone. So it really is a massive structure made up of many, many uh, individual girders. All right, looking back now towards uh, Maribyrnong River and Shepherd's Bridge along Footscray Road. What you'll see here is, is that the, the lanes have been moved to the outside of the road corridor <clears throat> to enable us to construct uh, our works in the centre median. There'll be two large superstructures here that will connect uh, straight through to the city and also back through to, uh, to the tunnels behind us. And they are constructed of full match cast segments and will be able to be uh, stressed together and um, and elevated up in the air, and you can see there. These will be constructed by our, our launching gantry, which is my favourite bit of kit on the project. Here you can see a great time lapse um, image of it being installed. Uh, this this launching gantry structure it will will um, will span will construct seventy eight spans on our project. Uh, One thousand three hundred twenty six segments will will be installed by it, along with uh, of the total sorry of fifteen hundred and thirteen segments. And this, it's 110 meters long and weighs a total of 120, sorry, 1,200 tons and sits uh, 20 meters off the ground. And what you'll, what you'll now be able to see is, is the, um, the drone footage that we've recently taken showing the, 
showing this, the structure from the air with the port and uh, Melbourne City in the background. So sit back for, for a few seconds and just take it all in. All right, now moving through to the uh, CityLink connections, you can see they're one of the tallest piers in the east at 13.75 metres high. Uh, that, that, that pier in particular will hold one of the flyover bridges that connects the elevated structure on Footscray Road through to CityLink. And what you'll also see as we come out of the ground here is some of the crane pads. Those crane pads will be used to, sit, to enable some of the 650 tonne cranes that will be coming onto the job uh, enable them space and safe access to install some of the, some of the large uh, steel girders that will make up these, these flyovers. Okay, swinging right back towards the city now, close to North Melbourne, you can see the rail lines there and another crane pad which has currently uh, got a piling rig on it. We're doing some board piling for, for the bridge through there. Looking back now, you can see Looking back west, you can see CityLink in the middle and another, another storage area for our segments. And looking at Costco there on the left, this is where we will have an amazing suspension bridge installed that will cross the Footscray Road area and enable cyclists from the Bellaway to connect through the Docklands. I'm really looking forward to that one getting in the way. Okay. Moving along to the bridge that connects uh, between Dynon Road and Dudley Street. This part of the bridge, uh, uh, this part of the, the east zone is part of the Wurundjeri Way extension. They will, they will extend Wurundjeri Way right up to, to Dynon Road. Uh, you can see here that pile rig again, and that's putting in board piles. But there's not only board piles on the structure, there's actually a lot of uh, precast driven piles. And overall, for, for this bridge, there's 450 piles and uh, will be 650 metres long from Dynon Road all the way through to the existing Wurundjeri Way alignment. And the different types of piles are due to the different ground conditions experience. And there we go, you can see how close it is to the railway with one of the metro trains just, just rolling past as we swing, swing through to look at uh, Wurundjeri Way. You can see some of the old buildings there from the railway, the old railway times. And as we head down, we can see the existing Wurundjeri Way alignment where the road currently passes by Marvel Stadium. And here we go, uh, just across Dudley Street, two lanes in either direction. And we're actually going to widen that to three lanes in each direction. And you can just imagine here how the new structure will have to dive down and connect into those, those existing traffic lanes. All right, here's a, a shared user path diversion across a river. Not many of those. That'll help us build the bridge that crosses Dynon Road. Uh, some precast driven piles here. This is a great shot uh, with the city in the background. These precast piles are hammered into the ground and then they're de-headed to make sure they're all at the right level. And uh, then the pile cap construction gets underway. You can also see the, the rail tracks in the background. Uh, this really demonstrates the complexity of, of uh, the project, the, the, what, what are the challenges are that we need to work within and how we closely we need to work with our rail stakeholders. Uh, here's an image of Dynon Road. This bridge gets some much needed safety improvements, uh, as well as a new walking and cycling bridge uh, immediately to the south of that structure uh, that will provide a valuable connection uh, through into, into North Melbourne. And um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be able to take you through a, uh, an animation that shows what the, the, full, the full east zone will look like when it's completed. So I really hope you, hope you enjoy this. I'll, I'll leave you for that for a few seconds and I'll, I'll be back. Um, at the end of the animation.
So I hope you I hope you enjoyed that um, that animation. What um, I would really like to just say thanks uh, for taking a time out to come and come and watch us and and really um, take part in in the open house in Melbourne and in particular what we're doing here on, on the Westgate Tunnel. Um, you know, fortunately, we did get stuck stuck with COVID this year, so it's a shame we couldn't get you out on site. But I would really like to encourage you to get down to our visitor centre once once the restrictions are are eased, and you'll be able to see some of the great drawings and models that we have of the launching gantry and really understand what it is that we're doing. But until then, what you can do is check out our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and of course our website to to really to really get an understanding of, of what's happening, uh, what you know, keep up to date with any changes and really understand the detail of the project. There's a lot of great drawings, videos, and other and other media that you can that you can use to uh, to understand the project in more detail. So thanks again, and hopefully you've enjoyed this flyover. Cheers. <laughs>